What do you as an educator need or would like to know at drop off? Um, as an educator, when you're dropping off your child to preschool for the first day, we would always encourage that you let us know, well, we will ask you, but we always ask that if what, when your child woke up, so they, with their wake up time, uh, when their last bottle was, and when the next time they'll need another bottle, um, how is your child, how is their well-being, have they been teething, have they, like, have they been ill recently, or have they been going through anything, any milestones, we always want to know what's been going with them. And, how do they like to sleep? Do they like to be wrapped? Do they like to be cuddled? Do they like to sleep with a comfort toy? Do they like to be rocked? There's lots of different ways. Would you prefer the one on the mattress? Would you prefer them in the cot room? So we always like to know this information to make the sleeping time the easiest transition for your child to come into daycare. What does a morning drop-off look like? Uh, families are welcome to come and help settle your child, especially on their first day. They always prefer a mummy cuddle. Um, and so we always encourage that if you would wish to stay and settle your child, you can stay for that short amount of time, usually about half an hour to 45 minutes. Uh, depending on what we're doing, we might even be playing inside on the carpet, playing outside in the playground, or sitting and having morning tea. It's totally up to you what you wish to do if you have that flexibility. Otherwise, the educators, as always, are here to step in and take that, that control with the settlement period. So you're more than welcome to pass your child onto an educator and we will settle them for you and it just whatever you're comfortable with make that settling time the easiest for your child what does routines look like or are they flexible routines in the little angels rooms are very flexible especially here at mount riverview we have a zero to two little angels room so we have a structured routine for our older babies and we also follow the individual routines for the younger babies and as those babies start to grow, they will then eventually come onto our routine too. But we're also very flexible with that routine. If an older baby is feeling tired at an earlier time than we usually would go down, we will of course pop that child down for a sleep. But yeah, we will follow routines to how we see things. And can parents call throughout the day and check on their child's progress? Of course, if you feel like you need to call throughout the day at any time, no matter how many times you wish to call, you're more than welcome to give us a call at the sender and we'll give you an update on how your child is going. Thanks Hayley. No worries.